Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here. As always, of course, we, I love seeing you here. Now today we've got the new Dango A10, newly released. This is gonna be a lot of fun to get into, so let's do it. All Dango products come in consistent packaging, which I think is a good thing for a product line. Got the product sleeve identifier on here. This is the A10. Their tins, which are all reusable and should be. I think it's a great idea. That's what they come in, as well as initial instructions on how to use the wallet if there's any questions or concerns. And this is a new line, a new series, the A series. The A stands for adapt. Outside the wallet, we've got a thank you card and a paracord tether, which is consistent with all our products as well. And here is the wallet. This is the single pocket version of what they have. It comes with a chassis just like this. You can buy it just with the chassis, which we'll talk about, or this single pocket version that we have here. Also comes <clears throat> with a bifold and bifold with a pen. So those are all the options that we'll kind of talk briefly about, but this is the single pocket version. And as uh, you might be aware, if you're following what they're doing is that it's all about this rail system. This rail system here where you don't have to use any kind of screws to attach new things. It's all based in this rail system. And this attaches to it here. And so in this case, it just uh, screws or just slides right in there. Nice back, it's all aluminum. Very light as well, as you would expect from aluminum. Really kind of cool. Again, the tactical component of what Dango does in their products is a demonstration of good design and understanding their customer base. Now into the feature review of the Dango A10 single pocket wallet. With the Dango A10, we have a single pocket accessory. That's what is on here. And it has room for a card that goes in here. It has a quick thumb push here on the bottom, which is very nice. This of course slides on the rail system that we have here. I will remove this so we can talk about the rest of the wallet. This slide system as just the chassis allows for one card to be slid in here if you'd like. That could be an ID or it could be a tap card for payment, whatever you'd like. But you cannot put a card in there and have this single pocket wallet component here. It's one or the other. Same thing if you had the bifold or the bifold with a pen. If we flip this over, now we're getting into the actual card storage part of this wallet. Quick thumb push here in the bottom. And of course, cards go down in the top here. You get up to four cards that will fit in here. And of course, there is no separation between the cards and this cavity. When you do have the slide in here, now this cavity is actually useful for cash. So cash folded in thirds or twice fits in here and with a slider holds it in place and keeps it secure. We also note that with the uh, all Dango products, we have these attachment points for tethers or lanyards, which make it to very convenient if you have ID and you want it to hang there. And really this is just an overall very nice feel. This is Dtex. We'll talk about that briefly. And that is a quick review of the features of the single pocket Dango A10 wallet. Now onto the card and cash insertion test. You notice I got five cards. It's always one, maybe two on this front piece here and four is the maximum on the, uh, maximum on the back here. And I did get two pieces of cash tucked, folded right in here in this cavity. And this uh, cavity piece is really great for that. Uh, cash has always been kind of a secondary consideration for Dango because they have the uh, silicon strap generally. But this is a great way to do that. The only concern I have here is if you have cash in there and you decide you want to start pulling your cards out here, then what happens is this pressure back here of the, of the cash makes it really difficult to put this back in because now it starts interfering with the cash and you've kind of got to shove it through. Uh, it's really kind of one of the only things I found that was an issue with here and that really shouldn't be an issue with you if you're only gonna pull one card out at once. Now when you do get to these cards here, it does take a bit to kind of get your, your thumb in here to push these up enough past the top to be able to get them out and you're of course generally gonna pull your back card or your front card first, as getting to the middle ones requires a little more effort, but it's, you know, again, minimal at best. Now, if you have the bifold 
component to this, that gets you up to a capacity of nine cards, actually 13 cards if you have that in there. So that's really the benchmark on, on how you get the accessory, how you choose. How many cards do you want to carry? It, that's kind of the best way to do that. So if you want more cards, then get the bifold component, it gives you more. This uh, is designed and manufactured in the USA. And it's machined from 6061 aerospace grade aluminum. It's very light, honestly. I, For some reason, this is, seems very, very light compared to other Dango wallets that I have. And this, this chassis uh, uh, component here has a lot of capabilities to it. Now an example beyond just the bifold piece that's there as a, an add-on, you can also have a clip that a, a, for a pocket clip. And really it's the capitalization on this, these tension clips up here to where you have this head that once the card gets passed, it clicks into place and thus it prevents it from coming out. We see that right here on the card slot side that knob right there, and because of that, you know, it provides just enough tension when it's in there that cards just don't come out, and it keeps them secure. But it's very easy to grab a card and kind of pull forward on that. Great design, I think they realized that they came across something really awesome with this, uh, and it's been proving itself in the M1 rail, and so here we see it in A10. Now this uh, outer slider piece here, it, well, let me show you how it works. So right here, it does go in one specific way. You can see how it has the guide rails here, and this is a DTEX material, which we'll talk about briefly, but we have plastic on the bottom here, and this is not sewn. It's uh, attached, I think, you know, via adhesive to the DTEX itself. And from flip this over, that's how we get the guide rails that come in here and secure it there. And really, uh, this is secure. This is not gonna come off, and I, I just think that they hit a home run on this design idea with these rails. Now, as mentioned, the outside of this accessory is DTEX. Now, then goes, uh, this is Dango's very durable material that they've come up with. It's water resistant, scratch resistant, flexible, and as a non-leather can really take some abuse. And it's used uh, with the S series of their wallets. That's where we've primarily seen it. Now with the edges here, we can see that they're painted uh, on this and all of these edges here in the single pocket itself have painting on them. So th this is finished off nicely, even though it's a, a man-made composite material I think it was a great choice for this particular wallet. And in the future, it might be nice to see something like this available in leather. I'm sure that they're doing that. And I did see recently that they're changing their leather quality up to full grain veg tan. Well, that was not the case in the previous wallets, which we reviewed. The ones going forward, quite nice. Now the pricing on this is $99. The base chassis right here sells for 79, at which point then there's the expansion accessory options. This being the single pocket, and that is another 25 and then the bifold sliders, 35. You can, of course, buy them together as well. Thus, as mentioned, if you only have the cavity, you can have a card placed in here. Let's show you what that, that looks like. You place a card right in here, and this could be an ID. It could be a tap card as well. And then, of course, you have RFID protected back here. The measurements on this is 4.1 by 2.7 by 0.6, and it weighs 65 grams. It just, it, it just doesn't feel that. It just seems really light to me. Now, from my perception on this, this is an interesting design, and we keep getting interesting designs from Dango. I'm really impressed at the cadence, meaning how often they're producing new products and new innovations with their product lines. It's, it's not an easy thing to do if you've ever created products before. It takes time, effort, a lot of thinking, and their idea around this to capitalize on a single platform and have accessories on it is really awesome. And I think that this uh, A series is going to be a real winner for them. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of five, price a three, features a four, usability of three, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 39 out of 50. I'm really impressed with Dango. And so if you'd like to see the rest of the rankings of Dango wallets we've reviewed, go to walletopia.info slash rankings or click on the link up here. And we will see you in the next review. Thanks.